Okay, hello, hi, I'm Jim Beheimer, and uh, it is a gloomy, rainy day in October at Sandwich Tribunal Headquarters, and um, intended to grill out today in making um, this sandwich, the chopped cheese, and so we're improvising. What we've got here is our basic backyard propane burning grill. We set it up in the garage today due to the rain. We've also got a stainless steel griddle sitting on top of the grill. It's been preheated and does a nice job. It also allows us to use our stainless steel chopping utensils which would destroy a non-stick griddle surface. You like that sizzle? I like that sizzle. We'll get back to that in a minute. I mentioned chopping utensils, and since this thing is called a chopped cheese, you might guess there's going to be some chopping involved. It gets a little loud, so we're going to mute that track for a minute. There's a lot more chopping that goes on than just this. We have compressed it for time. The hamburger patties get chopped up into little pieces as they're cooking. Not quite as fine as the meat in a loose meat sandwich, but something like that. While that's going on, we're also going to take our hero roll and heat it up in a sandwich press. This compresses the crumb a bit, crisps up the crust, gets it ready to be filled with that hot, cheesy meat. cheese melt quicker. Okay, we're gonna lift this lid and see some melted cheese now. And the final step is to chop up the cheese too, chop the cheese, and mix it right into the meat. cheese has been melted away nicely and turned into a gooey, gooey substance that's going to hold the meat together and taste great at the same time. Now we're going to get our hero out of the press, cut it open and get our condiments on there. I like the mayo and ketchup, tomato and lettuce for this sandwich. The only place in New York I've gotten one was at Haji's and they not only really stick to the tradition, they are the tradition.
close this sandwich up and get it over to that marble cutting board for its final shot.